Hey everybody, welcome to this A1 English listening practice video. You can use this video to train your listening and comprehension as I speak. You ready? So today I'm going to talk about language learning. If you're watching this video, you're probably learning English. So I hope this is an interesting topic for you. Language learning is hard. And if you learn a language, you need to spend a lot of time studying. This is the most important part of learning a language, time. If you don't spend a lot of time studying, you won't learn English. Language learning takes time. I am a language teacher, but I'm also a language learner. I learn languages because it's fun for me and I love talking to people from other countries. This is the best part about learning another language. You can talk to many people and make new friends. I talk to people from many different countries. This is the fun part of learning languages. But language learning is not easy. Sometimes I get sad or frustrated when I can't understand somebody. I also get nervous when I talk to people in other languages. But that's okay. It's normal to get sad or frustrated or nervous when you learn another language. This is normal. Sometimes I make big mistakes when I'm speaking other languages. I make mistakes with grammar, with vocabulary, and with pronunciation. But this is normal. Everybody makes mistakes when they speak other languages. If you don't make mistakes, you won't improve. To improve, to get better, you need to make mistakes. You need to talk, you need to practice, you need to have fun. So don't worry about your mistakes. Have fun with English. If you don't have fun, it is harder to learn English. So here are some tips to have fun with English. Number one. Read books in English that are interesting for you. Don't read boring books. Find books that you like. For example, if you like sports, read books in English about sports. If you like animals, read books in English about animals. And if you like technology, read books in English about technology. I love fiction, so I read fiction books in other languages. This helps me have fun and learn. Tip number two, watch videos in English that are interesting for you. If you like fashion and clothes, watch YouTube videos about fashion in English. If you like cars, watch YouTube videos about cars in English. It's important to read and watch things that are interesting for you. Okay, tip number three, make friends who speak English and make friends who are learning English. I know it's not easy to make friends, but it will help you learn and practice your English. Find an English practice group in your city. You can look for an English practice group on meetup.com. If you can practice your English with friends, it will help you a lot. Okay, we're finished for today. Leave a comment and tell me why you are learning English. I'll see you next video. Hey everybody, welcome to this A1 English listening practice video. You can use this video to practice your listening and comprehension as I speak. You ready? So today, I'm going to talk about my daily routine. My routine is different on weekdays and weekends. I'll tell you about my routine on weekdays. So, I normally wake up at about 6 or 6.15 a.m. I like waking up early. I don't like getting up late. When I wake up, the first thing I do is read my Bible. Then, I study languages for a little while. Currently, I'm studying Indonesian. I like to study in the morning because I feel motivated. Other people prefer studying in the evening. Do you like studying in the morning, afternoon, or evening? So, after I study, I usually eat some fruit. This is my first food of the day. Then, I start my work. 
I usually start working at 7.30 a.m. Most other people start at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. I like starting early, though. I'm an English teacher, and I teach many students. I have different students every day. Some days I have many classes, and other days I have fewer classes. Most of my students are from Brazil and Russia, but I have students from many other countries, too. Every day, I talk to people from all over the world. This is really fun. I love my job. So, during my workday, I have some breaks. Sometimes I have a 30-minute break between classes. During my breaks, I eat, study, and hang out with my wife. My last class usually ends at 4.30 or 5 p.m. Many Americans get off work at 5 p.m. After I get off work, I eat dinner. My wife cooks dinner every weekday, so we eat at home. I'm always hungry when I finish work. In the U.S., people eat dinner early, like at 6 p.m. This is very common. In other countries, people eat dinner late, like at 9 p.m. I don't like this. For us, dinner is the biggest meal of the day. We eat a lot for dinner. My wife and I eat meat, vegetables, and other food. Some days, I exercise in the evening, too. I don't exercise every day, only some days. I should exercise more, though. After I exercise and eat dinner, I eat dessert. I normally have milk and cookies. I love milk and cookies. After dessert, I study my languages more. Then I spend time with my wife. Lastly, I take a shower, brush my teeth, and get ready for bed. I usually go to bed at 10 p.m. So that's my normal routine on weekdays. I like to have a consistent routine. I plan my days, and I try to follow my plan. Some people don't like planning their days. They prefer to do different things every day. I like doing different things too, but I like having a general plan to follow. If I don't have a general plan, I feel lost. I like having a daily routine. However, on the weekends, I do many different activities. My weekends are very different from my weekdays, but I always wake up and go to bed at the same time every day. That doesn't change. I like to start and end every day at the same time. Okay, that's all for today. Leave a comment and tell me if you have a daily routine. I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, welcome to this A1 English listening practice video. You can use this video to practice your listening and comprehension as I speak. Before we start, remember to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and follow us on Instagram. You ready? So today, I'm going to talk about exercise. This is an important topic because everybody should exercise. Exercising, or working out, is necessary for good health. Let's talk about some different types of exercise. One popular type of exercise is running. I'm a terrible runner because I get really tired when I run. But I want to improve my running. Some people like running short distances, and some people like running long distances. I'm pretty fast when I run short distances, but I'm slow when I run long distances. I need to train more. Some people prefer running outside, and other people run on the treadmill. A treadmill is a machine for running. I don't like running on the treadmill. I prefer running outside in nature. How about you? 
Do you prefer running outside or on the treadmill? Okay, another popular type of exercise is weightlifting. People lift weights to build muscle and get stronger. Most people go to the gym to lift weights. In the past, I went to the gym often to work out. I lifted weights every week at the gym. But now I don't go to the gym. I have some weights at home, so I can lift weights here. But I don't have a lot of equipment, so I can't do many exercises. Some people have their own mini gym in their garage. I wish I had this. Weightlifting is hard because weights are heavy. If you're not strong, you can't lift a lot of weight. But if you start lifting weights, you can get stronger. All right, another popular type of exercise is playing sports. Playing sports is good exercise and it's fun. Some people don't need to run or lift weights because they already play sports. Playing sports is good for your health. When I was young, I played many sports. I was pretty healthy. Sometimes I played sports with my friends, and other times I played by myself. What's your favorite sport? Another popular type of exercise is hiking. This is one of my favorite activities. Hiking is a great way to exercise because you don't need any equipment. It's free. Also, you can enjoy nature when you hike. If you live in a rural area, you probably have many places to hike. If you live in a big city, it's harder to find places to hike. I love hiking in the mountains, the forest, the desert, and in the hills. In the U.S., hiking is a very popular activity. People go hiking with their friends and sometimes with their dogs. In other countries, hiking isn't so popular. When I have the chance, I try to find new places to go hiking. Okay, one more type of exercise is walking. This is the simplest form of exercise. You can walk anywhere. I try to walk every day if I can because I really like walking. So, overall, there are many different types of exercise. You should try to exercise every day if you can. All right, that's all for today. Leave a comment and tell me which type of exercise you like best. And remember to subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell and follow us on Instagram for more English tips and lessons. I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, welcome to this A1 English listening practice video. You can use this video to practice your listening and comprehension as I speak. Before we start, remember to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and follow us on Instagram. You ready? So today, I'm gonna talk about homes. This is an important topic because we talk about our homes a lot. Let's talk about the different types of homes. Some people live in houses, some people live in apartments, and other people live in other types of homes. Houses and apartments are the most common types of homes. In big cities, people often live in apartments. Apartments are very common in big cities. They're usually smaller and cheaper than houses. Some apartments are in really tall buildings. These buildings can have 20 or 30 floors sometimes. I don't want to live on the 30th floor. I prefer living on the first or second floor. If you live outside the city, you probably live in a house, not an apartment. People that live in the countryside usually live in houses. These houses are usually bigger than apartments. They also have backyards. A backyard is the place behind your house, 
where you can have grass, trees, gardens, or a pool. When I was a kid, I loved playing in my backyard. It was fun to play outside every day. Most apartments don't have backyards. They usually have balconies instead. Okay, now let's talk about the price of houses and apartments. In the U.S., houses and apartments can be really expensive if you live in a big city. In my home state of California, houses and apartments cost a lot of money. The average price of a house in California is almost $600,000. Crazy, huh? It's also really expensive to rent an apartment in California. In the U.S., people usually rent apartments, but in some other countries, people often buy apartments. When I was younger, I shared an apartment with other roommates. It's common to have roommates in the U.S. Sometimes you have good roommates, and sometimes you have bad roommates. Have you ever had roommates before? Okay, now let's talk about other types of homes. Some people live in condos, which are similar to apartments. Single condos are part of a bigger building or complex, just like apartments. But in the U.S., many people buy condos, but they don't buy apartments. One more type of home that exists in the U.S. is the townhouse. Townhouses are similar to normal houses, but they're often smaller and cheaper. Also, they're usually part of a community of townhouses. So, there are several different types of homes that people can buy or rent. Some people prefer houses, some people prefer apartments, and other people prefer condos or townhouses. I think I prefer houses. I hope I can buy a house in the future. All right, that's all for today. Leave a comment and tell me what type of home you live in. And remember to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and follow us on Instagram for more English tips and lessons. I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, welcome to this A1 English listening practice video. You can use this video to practice your listening and comprehension as I speak. You ready? So today, I'm going to talk about pets. This is a fun topic because many people have pets and like animals. Let's start with dogs, since dogs are the most common pets. In the U.S., so many people have dogs. You can see and hear dogs everywhere. When I was younger, my family had many dogs. Some of them were big and some of them were small. They were all different kinds of dogs. I always liked our big dogs more. They were smart and fun. Our small dogs were cute, but they weren't very smart. All of our dogs loved to play. They wanted to play all day. I like dogs, but now I don't want to have dogs. If you have dogs, you need to spend a lot of time with them. They need a lot of attention. In the U.S., people treat their dogs very well. They give them a lot of attention, and they play with them a lot. Okay, now let's talk about cats. Some people like cats more than dogs, but I don't. I don't like cats at all. Actually, I'm allergic to cats, so I stay away from them. Many people like cats because they're independent. They don't need a lot of attention like dogs do. So, if you have a cat, it's easy. Also, cats are funny animals. There are many videos of cats doing very funny things. My family never had cats, though. What about you? Do you prefer cats or dogs? Okay, now let's talk about other types of pets. In the U.S., 
Some people like to have small pets, like hamsters or guinea pigs. These animals live in cages, so they're easy pets to have. You just need to feed them and clean their cage. I don't think these pets are very fun. They're a little boring, in my opinion. But many people prefer these types of pets. I've never had a hamster or guinea pig before, but I ate a guinea pig when I was in Peru. In some countries, guinea pigs are food, not pets. Other types of pets include birds, bunny rabbits, fish, and reptiles. I had three fish when I was younger. Two of these fish died pretty fast, but one of the fish lived for several years. Fish are boring pets, though. When I was very young, my family had a gecko. I liked to watch this gecko eat. It ate live crickets and worms. That was a cool pet. In the U.S., there are many animal shelters. An animal shelter is a place that takes care of animals that don't have owners. Most of these animals are dogs, of course. If you go to an animal shelter, you can adopt these animals if you want. My family adopted several dogs from these animal shelters. Some of these dogs were nice and fun, and some of these dogs were not very nice. My favorite pet was our first dog. She was very smart and she was beautiful. I played with her and I pet her every day. She lived with us for over 10 years. I miss that dog. If I get a pet in the future, it will be a dog. But I don't think I want a pet. Okay, that's all for today. Leave a comment and tell me if you have any pets. I'll see you next time. <laughs>
How about you? Do you follow any celebrities on Instagram? Another thing you can do on Instagram is post an Instagram story. You can post many photos and videos to your story. I don't usually post on Instagram, but I look at other people's posts. I think that Instagram is better than Facebook. Okay, so another social media app that people use is Twitter. I don't have Twitter, so I don't really know how to use it. But I know that it's a very popular app all around the world. Many people use this app to follow the news. People post news stories on Twitter. I don't need a Twitter account because I can read the news on Facebook. Another app that young people use is Snapchat. I had Snapchat when I was younger, but now I don't. People use Snapchat to send pictures and short videos to each other. Then these pictures and videos disappear after you view them. There are many other social media apps too. The world loves social media. All right, that's all for today. Would even comment and tell me which social media and app you like best. And remember to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and follow us on Instagram for more English tips and lessons. I'll see you next time. Hey everybody! Welcome to this A1 English listening practice video. You can use this video to practice your listening and comprehension as I speak. You ready? So today I'm going to talk about New Year's resolutions. What is a New Year's resolution? This is a goal or an objective that you have for the next year. When it's the end of the year, some people make New Year's resolutions. They want to have a good year and do many things. Let's talk about some common resolutions. One common New Year's resolution is to lose weight. Many people plan to lose weight during the New Year. This is a good resolution. It can help you be healthy. It's not easy to lose weight though. It can be difficult. You need to eat healthy food. And you need to exercise. Many people go to the gym in January because their New Year's resolution is to lose weight. But not everyone reaches their goal. Many people quit. Okay, another common New Year's resolution is to study English more. This is a good New Year's resolution. Some people want to learn English to help their career. If you speak English, you can have better opportunities. For some jobs, you need to speak English, and for other jobs, you need to read and write in English. English is important for many jobs. Maybe English will help your career too. This year, my goal is also to study more languages. All right, another common New Year's resolution. Is to read more books. Some people are very busy, so they don't read a lot. Other people are not good at reading, but they want to improve. And some people don't like reading, but they need to read. Many people have the New Year's resolution to read more. I think that's good. I want to read more too. I want to read many books this year. How many books do you want to read this year? Maybe you can read books in English this year. That's a good resolution. Okay, another common New Year's resolution is to learn a new activity. This is a fun one. There are many activities that you can learn. Some people learn a new sport. Other people learn a skill. It's good to learn new things. Maybe you can take a class to learn something new. There are many classes that teach you different skills. You can look for classes in your city. Another common New Year's resolution 
is to quit smoking. This is not a fun resolution, but it's good. I don't smoke, so I don't need to quit. But I could stop other bad habits. For example, I eat a lot of sugar, so maybe I should eat less sugar this year. Or maybe I should eat more vegetables. These are good resolutions. There are many different New Year's resolutions. I think this is good because people want to accomplish goals. It's good to accomplish goals. Okay, that's all for today. Leave a comment and tell me if you have a resolution for this year. I'll see you next time. <laughs>